Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to highlight one growth stock that's down 80% that I think you might regret not buying on this dip here. Sure, there are reasons this stock is down and those reasons might be justified, but I think at these valuations this growth stock makes an excellent purchase. What is this growth stock? It is PayPal. PayPal is the growth stock that I'm talking about and in this video I'll go through a few metrics highlighting why I think this stock is a buy. So let's get started with revenue and what I'm showing you here is PayPal's trailing 12 month revenue over the last 10 years or so and you can see the company's done a good job expanding its revenue despite the difficulties that it's faced, despite the competition, despite the COVID-19 lockdown and economic reopening. Despite all of that, the company's managed to increase its revenue and underlying that growth is the convenience it offers to the people using the PayPal app. It just makes it more convenient to shop online if you can just use your PayPal login instead of having to type in your credit card information. And so PayPal hasn't just achieved this growth at the expense of profitability. Some companies grow revenue, but that comes with losses on the bottom line. That hasn't been the case with PayPal. The company's managed double digit operating profit margins throughout that entire time period I spoke about earlier in the roughly 10 years or so. The Profit margin has fluctuated a bit, going as high as 20% and as low as 14%, but it's maintained above double-digit margins. Now, understandably, investors would prefer to see a company that steadily increases its operating profit margin as revenue is growing. That would be ideal, but having a company that consistently generates operating profitability above double digits is also good. The next thing I'm going to highlight for why I think PayPal stock is a buy is because of the robust free cash flow in the most recent trailing 12 month period, 3.65 billion in free cash flow. The company's generated billions of dollars of free cash flow nearly every year going back in the last decade and so it's doing a good job generating strong free cash flow and the business model itself does not require large capital investments and so the company can continue throwing off a lot of cash flow because the business foundation is one that doesn't require a lot of capital it's one that requires a lot of relationship building right working with merchants to convince them to accept PayPal as a payment option and so by doing by getting more consumers to use PayPal it makes merchants more likely to accept PayPal and so this is a lot of nitty gritty work from PayPal but not necessarily requiring a lot of capital investment right it might require a lot of employee time but not capital investment so for that reason the company can throw off a lot of free cash flow and finally, the last reason I'll give why I think you might regret not buying PayPal on this dip here is because of the cheap valuation. The stock is trading at a forward price to earnings ratio of 10.89. That's the cheapest this stock has been in quite some time. And it's cheap in comparison to the average stock in the S&P 500. Now I know PayPal faces some risks from competition. I know PayPal's growth has slowed, its margins are slowing, it's got a new CEO that's coming in, so there's a lot of uncertainty. And so I understand for the stock price to be down somewhat off its high. But in my opinion, being down 80% is overdone. And this valuation, I feel, provides a good entry point for long-term investors to buy PayPal stock on this dip. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.